Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. I'd firstly like to say a huge thanks for almost 50,000 subscribers. I really couldn't be where I am today without your continued support. And news today comes from an incident which occurred yesterday, but I was unable to cover this story as it broke. A Melindo Airlines Boeing 737 skidded off the runway in Nepal during its takeoff. The aircraft was holding 139 people before it had to abort its takeoff and then skidded into the mud-forced airport in Nepal. The aircraft was a Boeing 737-900 and holds the registration of 9M-LNJ. The airport itself after this incident was shut down for 12 hours until the plane was moved causing lengthy delays for travellers. The pilots who were operating the flight detected a problem during the takeoff and then therefore aborted. While the plane did skid off the runway, it's a relief that the pilots were in fact paying attention because if the problem was severe, the crew on board may not have been able to turn the plane back around for an emergency landing. Often, while not advised, this sometimes can be the best option to avoid a major catastrophe. Thankfully, every single passenger and crew on board was safe and fire crews informed the media that the jet was removed safely without any damage. Travelling passengers who were not stuck on the Melindo jet experienced delays and more because of the situation. This left a lot of them unhappy. This isn't actually the first time an incident like this has happened. Back in 2015, a Turkish Airlines plane also skidded off the runway, however this occurred after its landing. The aircraft apparently was unable to stop because of the takeoff speed, which is why it overran the runway. The runway did not face any damage either. This incident is certainly a wake-up call, but the Himalayan nation is known for some of the most remote and trickiest runways to land and take off at. There are snow-capped peaks on approach and more. This can all impact a pilot's eye, even though they have experience. Unfortunately, on top of all of this, Nepal do not have the best safety record in terms of aviation, and this is why Nepal-based carriers are actually banned from flying in European airspace. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine. I appreciate all your support, and I hope to see all of you in the next one.